the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Well, well, let us pray. Father, we, we truly thank you for another opportunity to come before you and receive revelation of your word. Yes. Because we know without a shadow of a doubt that the Holy Spirit is here with us, yes. bringing us all truth. We keep our focus on you. Yes. The desires of our heart are to please you, Father God. Yes. So we have an expectation, Lord God, of growing. Yes. Toward you. Yes. Of seeing those things as though you would have them to be seen. Yes. And we thank you, Lord God, that all this is done in the love that you have shed abroad in our hearts. Yes. And we give you the glory and the, the honor and the praise for it because we are seeking to do your will and to live as you designed us to live. Yes. So as we move forward, we yield ourselves to you and ask that you, read, you help us to renew our minds yes. with your word. Your word. We say this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hey, look, and, and I'm excited about this, 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 this topic today. Um, and it goes in line with what, what we just thought, what we just finished talking about. But it's to, for a believer, all believers, to understand that we're being justified freely. It's a free gift. Salvation is freely given by God. And, and, and we need to understand what's given to you freely, no man can take it away from you if you hold on to the gift. It's you a give gift. Huh? And you can give it away, but... It's free, right? You know, <laughs> and, you know, and, and, and it goes in the final, what, you, what we're talking about, the fact is, if it's given to me, right? Just like anything else is given to you, hold on to it. <laughs> nobody, can, nobody can take it away from you. Like you said, you can give it away, but you nobody can take it away from you because he's giving it to you freely. So we want to make sense of that. And that's, <clears throat> you say you're going to work on that slide, but we're going to work, we're going to keep what we got until we get something better. It's, it's the whole purpose is making sense, right? And getting mm -hmm. understanding of God's word. And Nehemiah 8 is verse 8 is saying, so they read in the book and the law of God distinctly it gave sense and caused them to understand the reading. And what we want to do is go into get some sense of this free gift that's given to you and let you know that nobody can take it away from you. Amen. We don't want the, you to fall away. We want you to receive this gift. But one of the things that happens sometimes is people get, people come in, I think, and you know, you and I was talking about the avatar, we, Jim, we talked about the avatar uh, uh, Thursday, and we were talking about that scene where the, the, the jarhead went into the camp and, and to, to learn uh, the ways of those people. And, and the lady said, it's kind of hard to, to, to fill a cup. What is that? Put something in the cup, right, Brother Addison, if the cup is already full. It's already full. <laughs> So, so I think a lot of people, when they come in, they come in with a full cup, Brother Addison. They come in with what they think they know what the gospel is all about, know what Christianity is about, know about Jesus Christ. And, and therefore, they're so full, they're not receiving the gospel. And I, I wanted to show, I want you to read that one for me because this is what I'm talking about, what Christ has an expectation for us verses okay. one through six matthews 18 1. at the same time came the disciples unto jesus saying who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven 
And Jesus called a little child unto him and set him in the midst of him. And said, Verily I say unto you, except ye be converted and become, and become as little children, you shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. That's a very deep statement right there. <laughs> Whosoever therefore shall humble himself as this little child, uh -huh. the same is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Come out. Who shall, whoso shall receive one such little child in my name, uh -huh. receive me. Yes, sir. Who shall, whoso shall offend one of these little ones, which believes in me, uh -huh. it, is, it were better for him that a milestone were hanged about his neck and that he were drowned in the depth of the sea. See, that's a, that's, that's a, he's giving a firm warning here. Oh, this is powerful. <laughs> this, this is, this is powerful. Um, first of all, what, what really stood out to me was, except ye be converted. Yes. Let's, let's figure that out. Come on now. Uh, in other words, you need to come from, it, it really falls in the same line with Romans 12 too. Be not conformed to this world will be you transformed by the renewing of your mind. You come in with a mindset coming into the gospel. And you need to understand that that mindset has to change according to his way of thinking, not the world's way of thinking. A lot of us come into the gospel and it's, it's not to be negative, but we come in with our head knowledge of what the world is all about. Amen. And now all he's trying to say, you got to change when you come into the kingdom. Okay, but I, I still want being converted. You talking? Yeah, I'm still I'm still there because you're converted and then you become as a child. So that's just right there. You're at the, in my mind, you're at the beginning stage of you of renewing your mind. Oh yeah, right. Because you say you gotta yeah. be born again. Born again means you don't born. You be born as a a mature person, right? <laughs> yeah. You're born as a babe. So I just want to make sure that that is the consensus. Yeah. Except you be converted. Uh -huh. So, and except you receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, right, and believe, yes, as a look as a babe in Christ. Well, it doesn't say as a babe. It says and become as little children. So right. That's an addition too. So, I'm just I'm just trying to make sure that we have that that understanding. That there is, there is there is an acceptance that you have to you have to first believe yes. and come um, as a child. Right. Right. And like we were saying, you can't accept this and your cup is full. <laughs> you got some problem. Basically. Yes. You can't you can't ex you can't accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And have the same mind or continue in that same mind as that old man that is yeah. trying to put two trying to put new wine in old bottle that's what you said yep yeah. in old wine skin that still have old wine in it exactly it's already full no room for the new wine right right it's, it's, uh, you know, you remember, you remember, I don't know about you, but I remember, uh, well, long before I received Jesus Christ, my personal Lord and Savior, that when I used to read that book, that Bible, I, I tell you, I, I, I was not, <laughs> I, I didn't get it. I, I got more from that laundromat book, Bible, uh, kids Bible than I got from reading the book itself. It was just so... It almost like a tech manual when he was looking at it, right? Okay. Because you had that, like you said, that mind. You won't born again. You you won't spiritually 
discern or spiritually. Oh, God. I, I can I can I can personally testify uh my desire to learn and to to understand the Bible when I would just read it on my own. Huh. I mean I'm I, I I my testimony is that I'm reading these awesome stories, these these phenomenal uh adventures and and these miracles and wonders that are happening but there's just no understanding of it <laughs> right and praying that someone that god will have somebody teach me <laughs> come on in a way that i could understand it and grasp it because i couldn't right i knew that there was something missing from what was being taught, preached, you know, teach or whatever right. from the pulpit or in the Sunday school lesson that just wasn't connecting to me because yeah. I couldn't go get it on my own. Yeah. And I didn't understand how they could read what I was reading and then say, teach, preach, you know, speak on the same thing and get what they got right. so it, th there was this disconnect and i and, and i'm telling you god sent me to the other side of the world to administer that did just that Deep. he broke that word down to like everybody was a child yes in a way that i could understand it and then taught me that this stuff was originally written in Hebrew and Greek and how to get in a concordance and pull out the exact meaning of certain words uh -huh. which make them apply to the scripture and open up a deeper understanding and then that was just a, a stepping stone on going to other places that taught me other things Exactly, because it's almost like the, to the point to where I run into uh, what to where I'm really investing myself into the word, right? And now I'm just not accepting what's being taught to me by anybody. Come on now, Come and I'm on. starting to see differences, <laughs> and I'm starting to see uh, misappropriation of, of scripture. Uh -huh. I'm starting to scriptures taken out of content Woo! and it, it was just messing me up and I just could not receive anything from anybody and then God brought Mr. Hill into my life <laughs> when I was at a crucial point to where I was really confused and this brother gave me a book that put everything that I was dealing with into perspective wow and I was able to transform confusion into line upon line, precept upon precept, here a little, there a little, until I, I mean, it just all fell into place. Amen. Everything. Amen. And so from a simple prayer, God took me all around the world. Woo! Come on. To get me to where I am. And I, and I, I I'm telling you, I see it as though that I'm watching a movie Come on. my path Come to the on. point that I'm at right now. Wow. And I just thank God, you know. I thank God for for you, for for Mr. Hill, for uh um my brother McCann, for for uh bless his name, uh Elder yeah. Johnson. Yeah, you know, Johnson. even even I thank God for even those who were misappropriating the word. <laughs> I hear you. you know, to those who were uh, uh, teaching in a way that, to, in my mind, uh, uh, was missing the mark. But all that got me to where I am. Come on, brother. Come on. <laughs> it, all, it all got me to where I am. You know? And, and all I can do is just, just 
just being in awe of God because his plan still works. Yes. Even even though Myron Addison had his hand on him <laughs> on this process, he still <laughs> worked it out. He I mean, with it. all the, the 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 craziness that I am, with all the, the dysfunction that I am, with all the, the wrong choices, the, the, the hard-headedness, the, 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 what do you call it, stiff neck, stiff neck. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you name it, that was me, and he was still able to get me to this point Come where on. I'm at. And all I can do is just give him all the glory and all the praise, all the honor, that despite Myron, Woo! he still is. Come on, brother. And he is still showing me things that are just awesome and, and, and just stirring me up and, and, and just refocusing me and repurposing me and just removing Myron out of the way, little by little. Give a revelation and revelation. You know what I mean? Oh my goodness, man! I'm, I'm about to run through my house right now. <laughs> I, I, I don't blame you, cause there's a connection. There's a, there's a connection between you and us and the Holy Spirit. All of us connected to that body of Christ that loves one another. And I, you know, the scripture even said we come in designed as we come in designed to milk, and then we move on toward the meat of the word deeper revelation of God's word. But the key to it is coming in, like he said, as a, a new, I think you and I can change it with that avatar, come in with an empty cup. So yeah, he can- It's kind of hard to do. You know, if you're a child, you don't know. Yeah. You don't know. And, and it's up to, it's up to the body to, to get that information to that individual. Come on, and that's brother. not been happening. Yeah. It yeah. has not been happening, and so people have to go through a lifetime of misfortune, of of, of misinterpretation, of, of of religion. Yeah, that's what happened. to get to a point where they can start receiving milk because you you can't even receive milk if you're full. You're right because what it flows over, right? You pour up milk if it's gotten too much. So, you know, it's, man, it's I'm, I'm, man, I, I can't even say right now. <laughs> right. And, and, and that's what those scriptures were saying. Those, that scripture clearly saying that too, right? And, and like I said, for those who are listening, it, it's similar to that, that, that movie in Avatar. What it's saying is you got to come in with an empty cup. You got to pour out. Or I like even the other one with the Bible says you got to get a new bottle. You can't use the old wine skin coming into the gospel. You, 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 you have to come in freely. This is given to you and you can't use your old ways. And all I'm hearing right now, he who has done a good work in you. <laughs> yeah, he's, oh, come on now. Ooh, come Ooh. on. It's faithful to perform it and tell coming to Jesus. I, yeah. That's what I love, man. That was a powerful scripture we did on Philippians 1 6, uh, uh, Thursday night. I love it. And that's why, that's why I like this title. What's well, the fact is, it's freely given. By